to rinse or not to rinse? That is the question. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments all for free, check out Quote IQ. It'll be linked in the comment section and the description as well. So I got a text from Mac on my way over telling me to hurry up because he was excited to do this roof and ask if he could do it all by himself. So this is actually gonna be the first one that you've done 100% by yourself, right? Yes. And it's a nice one because it is very walkable and very dirty. We are gonna have dramatic results on this. So we do one section at a time, thoroughly and methodically covering every single square inch of the roof. Now this is pretty dirty, so it might take a second application and this might be a good example of a roof that might actually need some rinsing. Although we do have some thunderstorms coming in later this afternoon, which we are hoping for, fingers crossed, because that always aids in the removal of all the debris that we are eliminating on this roof. And Mac, before I got here, you already pre-wet everything on the ground. Yep. And there is not a whole lot of vegetation, so not a whole lot to worry about as far as runoff. All right, stop for a second. So we just put a 5.5 gallon per minute pump on that unit over there. And a, you can actually see how much of a difference it makes in the runoff, like significantly less. It's only what, two gallons per minute less, but that is two gallons per minute less chemical that you're applying to the roof, which means cost savings and also means less runoff, which is very important. And you can already see over here where this is really starting to come clean. There's a saying, if it's brown, it's coming down. If it's black, you're getting a call back. So as you can see, there are some black spots that we will have to retreat. The brown, that's organic material that has already been killed. It's amazing the difference just within the first five minutes. This is a 5% mix that we're putting on the roof right now. So I'm not saying that this is the only way to do it or the best way to do it, but this is how we do it and it works for us. Every roof is different. And basically we decide the best process for each individual roof when we get to the job site. I will say that we rarely rinse roofs. There's a lot of opinions on this subject, but like I said, this is just my opinion and how we do things, and it works. Sodium hypochlorite is the main component of the mix that we spray up here. SH is very effective in killing the algae that creates the ugly black streaks. As the mix is applied directly to the roof, it begins working immediately to kill any living organisms present. We work very hard to not over apply the solution to the roof, we also use surfactants to help it cling to the roof, which further reduces any kind of runoff. It's the excessive runoff that causes damage to the plants, and that's why we rinse before, during, and after the cleaning process to ensure no harm is caused. That's also why we don't rinse most of the time. Rinsing off the solution creates even more runoff that can potentially cause damage down below. We found no downside to leaving the solution on the roof SH loses its potency with time and exposure to heat and light. The chlorine in the solution evaporates and it leaves a white salty residue behind, which is really, you know, you don't really have to spray it. You don't have to rinse it off. It is not something that needs to happen. We've done a bunch of research and if you follow the science, the solution only stays active for about 60 minutes after it's applied. And after that, it quickly becomes non-caustic. We only rinse when there is a tremendous amount of buildup on the roof, like this roof. And we're going, to, uh, we're going to do that today. So this is the one rare occasion when we are going to rinse. And it's going to make such a dramatic impact. So the most important thing is to water, 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 rinse, 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 all the stuff down on the ground. Because that is the most important aspect of cleaning the roof other than getting the roof clean. 